So far we've had lots of responses, but more importantly is really commitment from both the international uh, investors and also from um, our partners uh, who are basically bringing in their clients um, to the Africa Investment Forum. So beyond that, we have also been able to curate uh, a lot of projects. Um, actually, right now it's about 58 billion worth of projects that we have curated and really identifying the various stages. Some are investment ready, some are still under project preparation, some will need credit enhancement, and some are basically uh, clients looking to exit. And if they can have these exit opportunities through us matchmaking them with um, an investor that is looking to invest, then this would be a great opportunity. Talk us through what nature of uh, projects are of specific interest to Africa as far as the Africa Investment Forum is concerned. The whole Africa Investment Forum is really geared on increasing investments in Africa. So from a perspective of having investors both from the international space, but also having uh, local investors or what you call continental investors. Uh, we have projects that uh, so far, about 80% of the projects are really in the energy space. Uh, that's what I would say. There has been a huge massive interest and some of even our foreign partners have said that they'd like to invest more in renewable energy. So we do see that really being an area of interest. The second aspect has been in agriculture, uh, which has also been in both in agri, agri what you call agri-fintech, uh, has also been an area that um, we have seen a lot of investors being keen on to invest on. It will focus on, and it is focusing on, how do we bring in a community you know, of project preparation uh, supporters. We already have two at the African Investment um, at the African Investment Forum. We have the Infrastructure Consortium of Africa. We also have the Africa Legal Support Facility I was talking to you about. And then we have the NEPAD IPPF. And NEPAD is also our partner. So we are saying beyond that, we also have Africa 50, which is a partner with us on, on the Africa Investment Forum. So we are saying all of us coming together and actually saying, let's move up the project preparation to the next scale through the Africa Investment Forum. That's where we are at this point now. I'd like to imagine that the AFDB is paying attention to the specific needs of each of the countries within the African region. What specific, rather, Nigeria-focused projects will the AFDB be presenting at the AIF come November? At this point, we've had a great meeting with the Focus Labs. We are really excited about what Nigeria has been able to do with the Focus Labs. Uh, we've also had uh, good meetings with um, the ICRC, uh, where we have actually been able to actually witness some of the projects at the identification stage and at the bidding stage. So I would want to say that th we are really giving this to Nigeria to, to make a priority because as I said there are quite a few projects. It's really for us to sit down and have this priority prioritization with Nigeria on the particular PPP projects. These are the ones that will move the needle. Uh, we have them in infrastructure, in the ports, uh, space, um, transport, as well as also a few on energy as well. But we want to work very closely and that's why I say today is really a working day for us. Today and uh, uh, the next few days are really working days for us to prioritize the particular projects. We have a few, as you know, uh, with the focus labs, uh, it brought out um, at least about 22 that are there, but we need to sort of prioritize them into maybe five or so, because we also realize we won't be able to achieve projects in this first year with each and every country. We are promoting it, but not each and every country is ready. I was going to say that it did come across to me as ambitious, considering that the AFDB plans to speak to governments across Africa, multilateral institutions, public-private mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. sector, try to find a marriage, yes. if I could use that word, between the two of them. Now speak to us how the AFDB will be factoring in the platform, the marketplace, and the market days within the two days we in which they are during which this event will take place that's November 7th to 9th what we will do is what we have planned are just regions so we will not go to each and every country uh, why we have uh, regional offices is because we work with our partners um, and our of regional uh, director generals and the senior director to agree on which are the 
you know, areas of focus. Where do you have the most transactions? And so in, from Nigeria, we expect now to go to uh, East Africa, uh, where we may not necessarily cover all the countries, but we will look at the scale of private sector transactions that are already prepared, that are underway, that are investment ready. Then from there, we will undertake a mission to North Africa and then to Southern Africa the Southern Africa countries, especially what you call the Lusophone countries, which um, there has been massive interest from our, you know, our non-regional members, Portugal, uh, as well as um, some of the other Lusophone, Brazil, um, our partner in American Development Bank, uh, looking for joint ventures with uh, these kind of countries. We will have uh, invite-only sessions where, as I said, the project developers and investors will have have already signed uh, confidentiality agreements. Uh, there are no surprises. They will know this particular transaction. They will, there has been an agreed meeting uh, with uh, expert moderators, um, ourselves and some of our other MDB and uh, our other partners, um, Africa 50, Africa XM will be there. And we will take th those particular that particular transaction that has been curated in that private sector only session uh, and discuss basically financing of that and bring it to a deal closure. The second area will really be focusing on, again, country dialogue. For example, Nigeria, as I said, has done a great job with the focus labs. Uh, we will be able to work very well now this week and uh, in the run up to the Africa Investment Forum and really prioritize, even out of that, what really, you know, five transactions is a must for the private sector uh, that and for the government as well and take that forward uh, and have a country dialogue, have the president there or the mini relevant ministers there who will give assurances on policy uh, that are required, policy amendments. Maybe by that time they will have been made because these conversations are ongoing now with the investors who agree that for us to do this particular, you know, uh, investment, we would need this kind of concessions, we would need this kind of policy to be amended. So that will happen. Everyone will be in the same room. Again, invite only, but curated for a specific country. The others will really be to showcase successes. I talked about having innovative financing sessions. Uh, we realize in our discussions with the private sector, they may some of them have not uh, really been exposed to the new ways of innovative financing, uh, blended finance, having fast loss mechanisms for them to be able to undertake business in fragile countries or what you call transition state countries. So we would love to have these uh, sh uh, successes showcased. The successes of the, you know, NISAL, the de-risking program that happened here in Nigeria is very, very relevant for other, other, other projects and other countries. So we would like to showcase this so that we can show an example. And it's not just that. We also bringing in investors with trillions of money asset managers who and asset allocators internationally who, have, who don't have an Africa strategy, who have not invested in Africa. But they are saying that th at this point they want to also understand what is possible. So this will provide that opportunity as well. Uh, we will also have master classes, we will also have, um, you know, opportunities to again pitch uh, particular transactions which we believe are relevant and transformative, especially addressing our regional integration agenda, uh, which is a high priority for the African Development Bank and our partners.